Need a battery for your handheld radio? I've got the solution. I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu. Ham radio operators love batteries. We use double A's, triple A's, nickel metal hydride, lead acid, lithium polymer, lithium iron phosphate, I mean the list goes on. The important thing is to have the right battery for the job. Or maybe it's the right accessory for the job. You can go to the store and buy double A batteries, use them once and throw them away. But that gets expensive and it's not good for the environment. Instead, consider getting rechargeable batteries like these PowerX 2600 milliamp nickel metal hydride AA batteries. They actually come pre-charged so they're ready for use right out of the packet and they can be recharged up to a thousand times. They work great in flashlights, emergency radios and yes even the AA battery case for your HT whether it's a Kenwood, Yesu, Icom, Alinko or whatever. You'll also need a charger for your AA batteries. There are tons to choose from but this one, also from PowerX, is inexpensive and easy to use. It'll charge AA or AAA batteries, two or four of them at a time, and it will both fast charge and trickle charge your nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride batteries. It comes with an AC to DC adapter, so you don't have to find one of your own that fits. But what if you want to go HF portable? Well, your ham radio sensei has a solution that might work for you. This is the BioNO BLF1212A. It's a 12 volt, 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It weighs in at about three pounds and has a charging plug and Anderson power poles already attached. With a 20 hour maximum continuous discharge current, it'll keep your portable HF rig transmitting on single sideband for many hours. Now lithium iron phosphate batteries do require a special charger. Unless you're maybe a radio control model enthusiast, you probably won't have a charger that can safely charge this battery chemistry. And while the battery itself has a protection circuit module to provide cell balancing and protection from both overcharging and over discharging and from short circuiting, you'll probably want to get the dedicated charger for this battery. It makes life so much easier. The charger is quite inexpensive and it's simple to use. You just plug it in and let it charge. If mobile operation is more your bag and you want an easy way to power your mobile radio from your car and yet still be able to move the radio somewhere else, your house for example, then consider one of these. It's the PowerWorks ATC fuse holder. It has a 12 gauge wire with ring terminals at one end and power pole connectors at the other. Simply attach the ring connectors to your car battery harness and you have a quick and easy power disconnect system for your radio or other devices with Anderson connectors. If you have another set of these ATC fuse holders on your power supply at home, you can quickly and easily unhook your power cables from the power supply and hook it to your car battery and you're ready to go. The fuse holders come with 15 amp fuses pre-installed. So there you have it, a few battery related solutions for mobile and portable operation. Hopefully you found them helpful or at least interesting. Links to all the products are in the video description. Please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigatou gozaimasu.